My name's Kelly from Sugarshine Farm and one of the great joys in my life is that I've been blessed to be able to get to know creatures like Stephen here who came from a petting zoo and when he got a little bit bigger wasn't wanted anymore or Berry who came to us because her mum was a little bit too old to feed her anymore and Berry would only drink out of a very beautiful um, teacup and all the other animals here that we get to care for. But one of the important things to remember about animal rescue is that you inadvertently or, or deliberately end up rescuing a lot of people as well. So we have people coming to us in absolute tears, they've got cancer, um, they're not able to look after their, their beloved pet that's been in their family and, and that they love very much and they come to us and we're able to help them out. We've also helped out people in domestic violence situations who, who need to leave to a place of safety but they can't take their animal with them. Um, people who sadly they've committed suicide and their family hasn't known what to do with pet farm animals as well. So helping out in animal rescue helps humans and animals and if anyone can give us a hand to keep doing what we do, which is very important work, we would really, really appreciate it. So Marnie turned up in someone's backyard and she had, a, had basically the skin and her muscles around her, other, her front leg were dead. And it looks like what had happened is that she'd got her leg caught in some wire. Um, she had been there for some time and she had pulled her, eventually pulled it out, dislocating her shoulder at the same time and turned up on this property and asked for some help. And we took her straight to the vet and um, she had a leg amputated. Um, and she's, she's done amazingly Where's yours? Did since you drop then. It? She gets around absolutely fine. As you can see, she's up on the table. Um, yeah, she's, she's doing great. Well, you dropped yours. Oh. And now she's madly in love with sad boy. <laughs> Righto, you're eating my feet. Get out of the way. <laughs> Precious. So Kelly, what sort of things do you need on a day-to-day -day basis? Or yeah. what sort of things are you needing now at the moment? At the moment we're needing some help with, with some things that we haven't needed help with before, which is we need to get our road graded. Um, we do need some help to move some shelters around, which is really not about skill so much, but just about having people power. We urgently need some some people with uh, fencing skills to come and teach us how to do some fencing so we can build some more paddocks on the new property. We always need donations of food for the animals, such as fruit and vegetables, um, wheat fix, uh, that sort of thing. And we would love to get a water pump. Um, water is a major issue here, access to water. And we're very respectful of our neighbours, it's gonna, so it's going to take us quite a long time to get our boundary fencing done. Um, yeah, so the key issues that we need help with are, is water, um, access to the property and fencing. You probably get asked a lot why. Why do you do it? Uh, four years ago I, when I found, um, when a little baby goat was found thrown in the rubbish tip and she came to live with me and I had known nothing about traditionally farmed animals at that point and I got to know how special and fun and cheeky and naughty she was and then I realised that they're all like that. and. They have a lot of traditionally farmed animals, um, you know, have very difficult lives that end in slaughter. So I think that they are extremely vulnerable and I've always had a passion for the underdog. So that's why I help these animals. Yeah. Careful, please.